Hello, my lovelies. Today I have my December Wheel of TBR, so stay tuned. So I know that uh, I look different than I did in my thumbnail and that's because uh, I'm going to be going back and forth between two days here. Um, I actually filmed my Wheel of TBR a few days ago and when I went to go edit a different video today I realized that the past 20 videos that I have filmed somehow I changed the setting on my camera and they were all filmed muted and in slow motion. <laughs> unfortunately. So I'm having to refilm or whatever I can do for all of those. And this was one of them. So I'll be going back and forth between um, me telling you about the books and everything and when I was actually doing my spin because I can take the parts where I was literally spinning the wheel and speed that up. There won't be any sound, but I could always put my little music thing behind it. But <laughs> This is going to be a little bit different than how it typically goes. Also, like I said, I've already done this one before and it's aggravating to have to do it again. Okay. <laughs> so if you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. Wheel of TBR is one of my multiple TBR games that I play in order to help pick my TBR for the upcoming month. And typically the way it'll work is I will spin the wheel five times. I'll find books that fit the prompts. I'll change out the prompts. I'll mark the board. Uh, whenever the board gets five marks on any one slice, I have to add a bonus spin. There's a bunch of different rules. There's a giant playlist that I will link up here that you can go and check out and see the whole evolution because it's changed many times over the years that I've been doing this. Uh, but it's a fun game. Uh, I also, this month, played uh, my Better Book It game. It's a little board game that I created, and it's like for a weekend, and if I successfully complete the board, then I get to take a spin away. If I don't successfully complete the board, I had to add a spin. And if you watch that video, it did not cooperate with me. <laughs> so I ended up having to add a spin. So I have six spins for December. Now, in my Cards Against My TBR video that I just re-filmed the stuff for, <laughs> uh, you will have seen that I already told what my TBR knockout prompts are and like what books I'm reading for those, as well as Buzzword. In this one, at the end of my spins and all that, I will tell you what I'm reading for Mary Bookmas. Also, I don't want to go and re-pull out all the books um, <laughs> that I pulled out for the video before. Uh, so I'm just going to tell you how I did for last month. Okay, so I had a few rollovers, and uh, let's see. The first one was Pollyanna by Eleanor Porter, and I did read that. Uh, then it was Project Hail Mary. I am a little over halfway through with that now. Hopefully I'll get it finished before the end of this month. Uh, it's currently the 28th as of filming this. Then there was Nightfall by Shannon Messenger, and I did read that. Next was Before She Ignites by Jody Meadows, and I have not read that one. Then Oz Volume 2 by L. Frank Baum, and I have read that. And then The Dragon Warrior by Katie Zhao, I have not read this. So those will be rolling over. And then last month I only did two spins. So the first spin was Arc. And for that, I selected, actually I have it right here, The Best Laid Plans by Cameron Lund, and I did read this one. And then for the other spin, I got Contemporary, and for that one, I initially had chosen Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren, and that was going to be my coffee buddy read, but then I realized that I read that this summer and asked if they, you know, still wanted to do it or if they wanted to switch to a different book. We switched to something else. And so I'm replacing for contemporary, for love, instead of love in other words, I did With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. And I did read that. So not too much actually getting rolled over. Okay, so now I'm going to cut to... <laughs> me spinning the wheel so you can see how it goes. So spin number
number one was Xander Pick, and he selected The Dreaming Tree by Matthew Mather. And I asked him why he picked this, and he said because the cover looked cool and it had an interesting name. <laughs> Spin number two, I got series, and uh, <laughs> for that, I'll be reading Iron Flame by Rebecca Yaros because I need to read this. I've already read Fourth Wing twice now. I really need to read Iron Flame. Oh, also, I forgot to say, after uh, I did the first spin, the prompt that replaced uh, Xander Pick was series, and then when I spun, I landed on series again. Fortunately, I didn't get a bonus spin from that, though it does currently have four marks on that spot. After series, I replaced that prompt with different country. So for spin number three, I got Scrib Today's Picked. Scrib Today's Pick. And I don't think they actually do that anymore, but there is like a section on there that says recommended for you. And so I went on that and I actually showed it on the screen and I might be able to put like a little thing up here where you can see it. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I was scrolling and uh, I picked In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. And then I replaced that prompt with Book Outlet. So for spin number four, I got blurbed, and that is to pick a book that's been blurbed by another author that I like. And for that one, I picked Sublime by Christina Lauren. It was blurbed by Cami Garcia. She said, a romantic and unforgettable story of first love. And then I replaced blurbed with Thriller. On to spin number five. For spin number five, I got food on the cover, and for that I selected Save the Date by Morgan Matson because there is cake on the cover. And then I replaced that prop with Koontz, which is one of my Dean Koontz books. And then I had to do uh, my sixth spin because I didn't successfully complete the Better Book It game. So let's go to that. So for my sixth spin, I got a big book, of course, <laughs> that's how it had to end. Uh, and for that one, where is it? I selected Flashback by Shannon Messenger. This thing's over 800 pages. <laughs> she thick. And then I replaced that prompt with Supernatural. Surprisingly, I didn't end up with any bonus spins, but um, <laughs> there's a good chance that's going to happen next month. Okay, so now on to what I selected for my Mary Bookmas TBR. So for prompt number one, Partridge in a Pear Tree, that's to read a book with a fruit or a bird on the cover. And for that, I selected This Be Thee Stoop and the Black Mountain by Zach Gorman. There is an owl on the cover, and this is like fantasy middle grade. And then for Two Turtle Doves, that's to read a book with romance or friendship. Uh, I'm reading The Darkest Star by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I'm buddy reading that with my copy patrons. For Three French Hens, this is a book set in another country or a translated work. I decided to go with Eleanor Ophelia is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman uh, because this is set in Scotland. For Four Calling Birds, that is to read a dark book. This could be a dark cover or dark themes. And I have several books that actually would fit that. But I'm going to select Find Where You Left Him Dead by Kristen Simmons because this is the group book. So I'm definitely going to be reading this. For Five Golden Rings, that is to read a book with foil on the cover. And for that, I've selected The Merciless by Daniel Vega because... This and the title and stuff, that's all in foil. And that was also on my Have I Read It special edition video where I 
put them all on a shelf in my living room and said if I haven't completed those by whatever in August those books will self-destruct kind of thing so I have to <laughs> to get to those books. Uh, for a six geese a lane that is to read um, something from a, a series. It can be the first book, last book, in the middle, whatever. So for that I'll be reading Iron Flame by Rebecca Yaros. Though again, I do have other things that could work for that, like uh, The Looking Glass Wars or Keeper of the Lost Cities flashback. Um, there may be some others in here that are part of a series. I'm not sure. Swans of Swimming is a beautiful book. And again, I selected Iron Flame. I think it's beautiful. For Ladies Dancing, I did a cool little video of this. I'm going to try and speed it up as best as I can. Uh, so you can see it, but what I did was I took my camera and stuff upstairs to the office and uh, I figured that would be the easiest place to do that. And I closed my eyes and I spun around until Xander told me to stop. And then he directed me like forward, right, left until I got to a shelf and he told me whether to go up or down or whatever. And then he led me to a shelf and uh, then I picked blindly from that shelf. And uh, I selected The Whispers by Greg Howard for that one. That's another cute little middle grade. And that was also gifted to me. Then for Lords of Leaping, that is to read a mystery or a thriller. Find them where you left them dead works. Also, The Merciless works. I'm not sure about others, but at least those work. And then, of course, Drummer's Drumming. That's to read the group book or a book by this author. And I'll be reading the group book. So that is my entire TBR. Have you guys read any of these books? Did you like them? Did you not? Are you participating in the Merry Bookmas Readathon or any other readathons? Comment down below and let me know. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, even though it was a bit chaotic. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, but hopefully better, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you. Bye.